Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to Just Cuts. Hey guys. What, where today we're going to be doing a podcast, as you can see by the title or the thumbnail or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Welcome. 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 Uh, don't click okay. off the video yet because it's more fun than you think it would be. Just watch through it. Trust me. You'll have a lot more fun and you'll learn a lot. And then go check out our other podcasts in our, the playlist. They're super Tommy, fun to it's watch bad them. when you have to persuade the audience. Hey, man. Is that a Denver Bronco <laughs> It is. Okay, so hat. guys and girls and everything in between, today we're going to be talking about merit badges. Mm. And this is going to be a mostly story um, kind of podcast where we're just going to talk mostly about what fun we've had with merit badges and some bad experience we've had with merit badges. And But the first thing that we're going to talk about is what fun merit badges we've done and what unfun merit badges we've done. So, Tommy, would you like to go first with the fun and unfun? Well, can we go into what what is a merit badge for people that don't know? Like, for the for the 75% of people that are probably watching this that don't know what a merit badge is. Okay, so a merit badge is a badge that you can get for taking a certain class within... <laughs> a summer camp or from a merit badge counselor which is a person that teaches the content in them inside the merit badge and for learning this certain amount of content and for doing these certain things you get a badge showing that you know a certain amount of knowledge about the subject that you took it for such as chemistry landscape architecture um and those kinds of things this is definitely not scripted as you can tell Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Um, yeah. Jack was just, Jack was just <laughs> staring off into the distance. He's like, architecture. Uh... Yeah. Um, so, Tommy, would you like to go first with fun and yeah, no fun? Fun merit badges. Um, okay. Let's go with any of the shooting merit badges. Those are very fun to complete. Uh, no matter if you're into shooting as a sport or you do hunting or you don't shoot a gun at all. It's really fun, trust me. It's so fun to do it. I don't, I don't know why it's so fun, but just being there with a bunch of other kids your age, shooting at clay target, or at clay pigeons or targets or with a bow, it's just so much fun. Yeah, and for those who do not know, the merit badges for shooting that we have in Boy Scouts is there's three of them. It's uh, rifling, which is just 22 rifles. 22 rifles yeah, 22. so yeah small little mm -hmm. cartridges mm -hmm. yeah. and then shotgun which we do 20 gauge and 12 gauge mm -hmm. and bird bow shot and arrow. yeah yeah 20 gauge 12 gauge bird shot uh and bow and arrow mostly compound mostly? yeah mostly compound i i haven't really seen any what's the other kind I long bow was. and recurve. recurve long bow and recurve that was it I have those at the day camps for those. For what? Mm -hmm. For the younger scouts, like Cub Scouts. They had them. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fair. Tommy and then... Tommy can confirm though. I am I am the one with the archer squad. Hey, the archer I do not need, you, I were do you not there miss. when I hit that when it, when I hit that bullseye oh, I turned yeah. around? I remember that Hawkeye shot. <laughs> That was that's the peak of my remember life. The time, I, I, okay. Remember the time? Tommy, Tommy, save it, it save it for story time. time. Save it for story time. All right, we're you just going hold... through it. Um, well, I have a picture. Uh, some other fun merit badges that we got. Obviously, you got like the ones that are mostly um, work based, which aren't that much fun, but you get the most out of them. Let's say like citizenship type merit badges or stuff like that. That's a bunch of or the 90 day plans for family life, personal management, personal fitness. They're terrible to do, but you get the most out of them, in my opinion. Yeah. You get how to save money, to do chores to family, to keep your body healthy, stuff like that. Uh, but no, fun merit badges are the ones that you can't really find every place. Like, we just went to a summer camp that had. Um, Horsemanship, horsemanship and, and whitewater, which are canoeing. Whitewater amazing merit badges. 
that you can't really find anywhere else because not a lot of places have access to a ranch for horses or whitewater rapids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so I'll explain more about those later, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Jet, do you want to talk about fun merit badges and no fun merit badges? I like, took what's a... The f- yeah, go ahead. The... Like I have a top three. Uh, number one spot is scuba diving. Is that a is that a merit spot. badge? Yeah, Mar- scuba diving is a merit badge. Okay, I need to get on that one. Jeez. Uh, if you if you two do it fast enough, you could go on a scuba trip, or we could plan something out or something. But mm. and then the next one would be horseback riding, mm. horsemanship. And then yeah, my horsemanship. third favorite would be nuclear science. Ooh. Nuclear. Yeah. I wasn't that like, interested in that one. And then, like, there's four and five that are kind of like archery and like a mix of swimming, because I actually like those merit badges. And then, like, five is kind of like an altogether tie. There's some of them, like, I absolutely despised of. Like, um, freaking, what was it called? Sus- no, it's sustainability. Sustainability? That one was, yeah, it's that one was good. No, I'll. I'll give it props. So, well, I, wait, sustainability or environmental science? Which one? No, better? sustainability. I did, I did environmental science, but before that, I started sustainability, and it was not. Yeah, I haven't. Not. Yeah, I just looked. I've opened sustainability. When you call open, it's like you get the merit badge book and you get the blue card and you're ready. I looked at the requirements me, me, and haven't touched the thing since. Me. But. Uh, what was the other one? Sustainability and sustainability environmental science. Environmental science. That's a that's a really fun one because if you do it at a summer camp, you have to do like ten sits where you just sit there for thirty minutes and write down what you see. But it was calming. It was good. And like oh, at wow. six o'clock at night, you could just sit oh, wow. down it and chill not. by a river. Tommy, if you place. did the sits where I did the sits, it was not common. Bro, you man. sat right next to I was on the edge of my seat. Lake. Okay. Uh, uh, so when you and... when you open up a merit badge, you get something called a blue card. A blue card, and this is and this is how you start it off. And then when you complete the merit badge, I don't have any blue cards got... right next to me. You get you get a spiffy little card mm-hmm. and it certifies which one you've done. So and then like, these are some of the things that you can get, like patches. Yes, jet, that's a bang. So yeah, it's some merit badges, awesome. and then you get these cards that say you've completed them, along with okay, all the blue cards. Jet, stop stop in the back. flexing. <laughs> hey, my binder's in a different room. Calm down, jet. My binder's uh two stories above. <laughs> But there's some like super cool patch design artwork that that's why people like when you're looking at the list of them. Where's my stash? I'm not really looking at the words. I'm looking at the coolest patches and then looking at the words. <laughs> to be there you honest. go. There you go, Tommy. But like, let's go. Um, Wilderness Survival has a very cool patch. It's kind of just like a mountain. <laughs> Put it up to the camera. Yeah, it's a yeah. mountain, and it's kind of like with some kind of chili peppers and stuff. It's really nice. Chili peppers. Yeah, and a lake. For old survival, chili peppers. peppers. You oh, heard, I'm... you heard it here first, folks. Chili peppers for old survival. Chili peppers. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, gonna be okay. honest. Chili peppers, bro. Okay. So, and then I guess my turn is next for good merit badges and bad merit badges. Good merit badges are always the one that, like, you do hands-on stuff, and that's always, like, super fun. Yep. Like, horsemanship was super fun. Yes, it and was. And then, like, swimming is a good one. Like, there is some talks with it, but if you already know the techniques for it, it's pretty easy and it's fun to do. And then after swimming, you can do life-saving, which was pretty fun for me. It was just life savings advanced swimming yeah like well the words no, are not, different the words are very badges. different but the same concepts are in both of the merit badges well no not really because in swimming you don't learn cpr and you don't know learn like reach throw row go 
which is you the, do actually because that's where I learned it first, and that's how I knew to complete that uh, life saving. Hmm. Oh, okay. We had different counselors then for that. Though. I didn't but learn it. In school. What I learned from life saving was how to pick up a karate dummy from the bottom of a lake. There you go. <laughs> Don't ask why. <laughs> you know, uh, in PSR, where they had the pool? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The guy just shoved a body dummy into the bottom of the lake and said, go get it. Yeah, there we go. I only had to do like a 10, I only had to, they only threw like a, a block, a 10 pound block into the pool. And I oh yeah, no. And get... it, wa it wasn't like the thing weighed 40 pounds. It was like 8 yeah, pounds or something. Like because that. the requirement for that is that you have to get a 10 pound object from the bottom of like 6 foot water to the top. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, it's like ten foot water. Ten foot water. The only and hard thing about doing it at a summer camp is that um, some camps aren't blessed with a pool, so like no, like our really home camp. And it's usually like yeah. So the bottom of it's really green. Like just in my camp, it's weird. And you can't but you like, can't um, see it. <laughs> it's yeah, it's like all green, murky. You just can't see when you. So you bring like a dive light with you, and it's on a nice clear day, and there's no like algae sitting at the top of. The yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, so that was a good one. Swimming, uh, horsemanship were really fun. I do like the shooting merit badges. Those are very fun. I got some stories, but we can save that for story time. And my least liked ones are probably the ones with lectures. Like, yeah. one of those ones with lectures or it's the one with, like, mostly talking. Like, uh, astronomy... It's a lot of talking. Railroading. I have, I have astronomy open, but I never finished it. I don't feel like doing astronomy. <laughs> okay. Just because yeah. I don't get a really kick out of looking at the night sky that much as other people do, I I guess. Well, I mean, yeah. it's cool when so you, once you get to like a camp that's like has a real cool open field, and that's cool because you get to see the stars. I mean, did um, you did you guys come with us that one night at Makajuan where it was like eleven o'clock at night, and yeah, we went out to I that open be. field? Yeah, yeah. And we Your saw the milk, milk. and you could see the purple galaxy field of the Milky Way. Uh, that was so cool. I, I like that. Yeah. So cool. yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah, just like the ones that I really dislike are the ones with lots of talking. And as mostly every single Boy Scout you can ask, the probably the, one of the some of the most hated uh, merit badges are personal, are personal merit badges like personal fitness, personal finance because they all involve ninety day plan. Uh, yeah. Personal management. Uh, personal wasn't management. That bad. It's the fact of knowing you have a merit badge open and that you will forget about it by that time the ninety days ends. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So then you're gonna have to restart the whole chart again. It's yeah. Okay, so we've talked about that. Is there okay? So let's go around and say what we think a good uh, merit badge counselor is then. Tommy, would you like to go first? We'll just go back in the circle. Uh, yeah, let's, yeah, this sounds like a plan. Uh, merit badge counselors, obviously, as Jack touched on it at the very beginning of this, merit badge counselors are the people that decide whether you get the merit badge by you giving them all the answers and then them helping you but not giving the answers. So, like, they're the ones that sign off, say you completed it, at the end. What I think should be a good merit badge counselor is kind of what we had for communications which was obviously at Makajuan where we went last time there was this thing I don't know what happened but at every camp's got its thing right just its thing yeah and apparently Makajuan's camp thing is like rumors and they were like about the food you remember that no yeah. Okay, well, what, communications what? merit badge. We would spend Ooh. we would spend half of our time talking about rumors, and he would sit there and listen. But because it was communications merit badge, he wouldn't stop us from talking. 
because you know we got to communicate people because we were communicating something which was which was weird but he listened and he was like funny he would joke around and do stuff and i think that's what does it good and they also i think that you should do everything to what the work workbook says to do nothing more and nothing less that perfect line is perfectly fine yeah and then jet what do you believe that a good uh mayor batch counselor is uh i think someone that's kind of laid back and can lay everything out to you in the simplest form and then build on top of that like kind of like layers to a cake you got like the base layer nice and simple and you can only build up and get more advanced um but i also think you should be he or she should be kind of like inviting kind of enthusiastic about what they're doing because if they're kind of bumming around you're gonna be feeling that same way and i think that the uh counselor should be like i said enthusiastic and kind of enthusiasm H A P P Y. I love my, my job. job. Woo! Okay. <laughs> and so the circle, <laughs> the circle comes back again to me. What I think a good uh, counselor should be is someone who makes the content fun uh, and exciting. Hey, and we make someone... fun content, Jack, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah we're sure. Not sure. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. And then, <laughs> as Tommy said, um, that, well, no, as Jet said, they should be an inviting person and have the content be and easy to remember. And as Tommy said, they shouldn't really do more or less than what is said about i guess the merit badge or whatever it should be How and what just like just you... sorry you and what jet just showed us is the merit badge called citizenship of the world which is an eagle required merit badge that uh explains world problems how does this look like the world you know, i don't you know got... but look I see, let's just I talk see about Africa. south america Let's, yeah, let's, let's talk, talk about, about South yellow America. One. Whatever that yellow one is, let's fit in. <laughs> what is that? that is. Yeah, I mean, go. I mean, people make people have to make these patches, and it's hard to do it on a small scale. But like, come on, guys, that's just <laughs> that's a blob in the middle of the water. <laughs> Imagine they come and say, "You make it, then." <laughs> All right, <laughs> you pay me, I will make it. Mm-hmm. Okay, Challenge so accepted. is there anything else people would want to say generally about Merit Badge or Merit Badge counselors? <laughs> you say optimistic. What, Tommy? What do you want to yeah. say, Tommy, huh? <laughs> Chet knew what I was going to say. <laughs> Can you say auto? <laughs> Can you say Autobots are allowed? No. Okay, you're good now. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> Good answer. What? Did I sound robotic? What have you done with Jack? <laughs> what cornfield did you stick him in? <laughs> did I? Did, am I sounding robotic or something like that? Yeah, go to your phone. He is on his phone. I'll take that as a yes. He is on his phone. Yeah, <laughs> on my. On phone. Yeah. Oh, this isn't gonna go well. All right, this is not getting edited out, by the way. I'm not editing this podcast. Yeah, okay. Well, this is great. Okay, does anyone else want to say anything about Mara badges in general before we move on to Scout Story Time? Yes. Uh, uh, they suck. Yes, most They're of painful. them do. Like, okay. most of them are a real pain to do, but you have to do them. Yeah. I have the taste for mozzarella sticks. All right, Thank let's you. move on. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> this, is what, this is what it's come to. Yeah. I have a taste for mozzarella sticks. Yes, thank you. I have a taste, taste for mozzarella sticks. Okay, so let's 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 get right into it. So I wanna I wanna share some of my Maribadge stories first. About what Maribadge? No, that's share. real. Okay, I wanna first share a story about environmental. <laughs> 
Say Autobots roll out. <laughs> Autobots roll out. Autobots roll out. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> Bro, it's, 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 like, it's like it knows, Jack. It's like your static knows when to stop. Okay. Um, so, so environment. FBI can't okay. see me now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Welcome to the so channel, about... guys. <laughs> this is epic. Okay, so back to the story. So in environmental science, there's a requirement where you have to do a certain amount of sits, which is where you sit in a certain spot in nature with nothing really around you. It's made in China, guys. <laughs> What's not made in China, Jet? <laughs> it's not me. Um, okay, so, and during these sits, you gotta, like, say what you hear and see and taste and smell. And so, time you guys blaze it on. Right it's going down, boys. Um, and in the left so, corner, we have, weighing in at 110 pounds, Jet Villigan! Jet, do you weigh 110 pounds, or is it like No, I weigh 130. Pounds? I was close. Oh, 20 <laughs> pounds higher. Alright, continue with your story, okay. Jack. Okay. Okay, so what I was saying is that during one of these sits, I sat in the middle of the forest. Now in summer, there's a lot of mosquitoes. And even if you put bug spray on, they'll still land on you and sting you if you miss the spray. Sting you? Know. you? They're gonna sting you, Jack. The more you know, like, yeah. the more, like, logo. <laughs> I didn't know mosquitoes um, stung. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, mosquitoes just stung, sting, you know, man? They just um, stung. And so, in the middle of my set, it was so annoying, and I was sweating so much, because I was in this damp, hot area Dang. of the forest. Don't talk about your beard like that. <laughs> okay, and I was just getting bitten up by mosquitoes, which wasn't fun. Top tier stuff, boys. And that's the end of my story. <laughs> So what, should we go around? You were getting eaten once... by mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> once upon a time, there was a lad named Jack. Jack got stung by mosquitoes. He got stung by mosquitoes. <laughs> Guys, we're not making fun of Jack. Please don't cancel us. He is our friend. Uh, and then, oh uh, wait, are we doing one story and then we're going around? No, we could just like uh, randomly talk about it. Like, okay, let's go on. Horseman shit. This funny yeah. story. So funny. horsemanship, we never, never we never actually got to ride our horses through what? like second day or second or third day. We never okay, actually got to ride our horses through the forest like we were supposed to. Yeah, no, we didn't. They told us we would, and then they were like, "Nah, sorry," because like a couple of kids that. couldn't get their horses. Oh. Okay. So the so. <laughs> Then we ended up doing it in the corral, we, where we'd like run. We'd run, yeah, for, we'd we'd like... run around the tr the track in the corral, and this one kid, <laughs> I don't know where he learned or got taught or learned from a movie. He stuck his boot right into the horse, and the mm -hmm. horse went zip, and the kid flew back. <laughs> Yeah, I remember Blue. that. That was off. <laughs> okay, so it's not a funny How story when you class, see it. It's sad. a very sad story. But after you look back at it, it's very funny. A sad story that looks okay. Go for it. Yeah, Pulls probably yeah. not to the kid. And so <laughs> probably uh, not to the guy that got hurt. <laughs> wow. Yeah, <laughs> the guy who got hurt. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Tommy, what was your horse called? Do you remember? Oh, but no, I don't. But I, uh, yours was called Diablo. Uh, how is there? How dare you? Yours was called your Diablo. Yours was yeah. called Diablo. No, you want to know why? Because they stole my horse from me. They said, go pick out a horse in the empty field, right? Mm -hmm. And then come back. And the horse walked up to me, and I was like, yes, you are the horse. So I latched on. And halfway walking back, they're like, oh, no, you can't have that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm like... What am I supposed to do? So I run at a different horse, because they said, hurry up. I grabbed him on, and just yanked him over. Yeah, which was not a smart idea, Tommy. No, but my horse my horse loved me. I treated my horse very well, I, I will say. Yeah. He, he was a very okay. good horse. This 
is your mid video reminder to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and to watch the video all the way through to support our channel. Thank you very much for watching, and this is done with the ASMR portion of this. Goodbye. Yeah, okay, so I can't so, remember any yeah. horse names. I just remember uh, Diablo and Pistol Pete, but you can talk about Diablo, man. Okay, so... If, you, if anyone doesn't know, we learned this in horsemanship, that whenever horses are in a group, they make a hierarchy by, like, fighting it out, and whoever is the strongest wins. will become the alpha, <laughs> the alpha male. Loudest and Nay so, wins jet. Nice. <laughs> and so the alpha for this group of horses was Diablo. Obviously a and hearty so, Spanish name, Diablo. Yeah, and so I went up to one of the ranchers when they let us pick a horse, and I said, "Which one's Diablo?" So I went up in front of Diablo. I did kind of, we did kind of like a Mexican standoff look at each other. J Jack, I don't I, think you knew what you were getting into. You just heard someone say Diablo is the, the alpha, so, and yeah. you went for it. Yeah, and so I I got Diablo, and then he I, tamed a wild beast. Yeah. And so I brought him out, and then I didn't have much trouble with him, like petting him and stuff like that, because like they're trained not to do anything while you're doing that. Oh, but once we got in the range, me and Diablo had some words for each other. We had a we had a bout because he wasn't really listening to me because apparently the rancher says that he's one of the smarter ones and he likes to play with his rider as long as the he doesn't know the rider is the alpha. And eventually, he started to listen to me, because, you know, alpha male right here. We got bearded guy, <laughs> history expert, alpha male, what, what are, what's, what's more? What have we got? Alpha male, yeah. And so, I mean, it was very fun after he started listening to me. Uh, it was a very fun merit badge to do, and I really liked learning about, like, the horses and stuff like that. And it was very cool. we got the horses in the back. Almost like it's a dash. Eddie, Maddie, Black. Did you just open that with your mouth? Use the alpha male. <laughs> yes, lad. All right. All right. Yes, so, lads. My horsemanship stories. Kind of dull. The first day I was late because I didn't know how far my walk it was, so I had to ask for a drive. Uh, yeah, why'd you think you could walk horse... it? It's like five miles deep. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't know how far it was. My horse's name was Wind Something. Wind I feel something. bad for not... I feel bad for I not really feel bad for not remembering. Because me and another scoutmate I... were in the same class. It was me. Were you in my class? I was with you. No, but there was, yeah, there was, was one more. Class. There was one more that was in my class. Was, wasn't it Aiden? Yes. Yeah, wasn't it? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. It yeah. Was. yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry if you can hear the sirens going on. I don't know what, there's a beeping war going outside my house right now, but that is... Beeping war. No, like, these people are, these are horns. I, they're not... Hold on. Uh-oh. Tommy needs to go check if the FBI is outside. It's a birthday parade. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. That's, this well, was it's oh, really that was, annoying. That was, that was my uh, horse. There he is. That's There's a beautiful a horse. horse. He, had, um, he had a blue eye on one side and a brown on the other. The, uh, there. Yeah, I archived it. Uh, yeah, and remember, Tommy's, Tommy's was, like, brown and white. Oh and yes, was... it was it was brown and white spotted, but my original one that they took away from me was all brown. It was very mm -hmm. nice. It was very majestic. Yeah, and then the one that I chose was completely black. The black. black yeah, horse. it was. It my was horse, just... my horse was pretty. My horse is pretty tame. Mm -hmm. I think it all of our wasn't... horses, seeing as they were born in the ranch and like taught how to be they were pretty good probably to what you'll see in the wild if you come across a wild mustang yeah. or something 
Yeah, if you come across a wild Mustang, I would suggest going the other way. <laughs> what's that? What's that one horse from uh, uh, Lord of the Rings? Lord of Horses. Lord of Horses. The horse yeah. named Lord of Horses. Yeah. Oh, what, what? 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 What's his name? Gandalf rode him. Oh. Jack, I know what you're know talking him? about. It's a. Okay, I'm a, I'm a geek, up. and I didn't know I didn't know Jet knew anything about this, but in Lord of the Rings there was a very white, pure white horse. It's Shadowfax. That was the King of the Horses it's sh- that it's Gandalf Shadow Facts. rode. It's Shadowfax. Shadowfax. Yes, exactly. Shadowfax. His his name mm-hmm. means Lord of All Horses. Mm. Okay. okay. And it's a pure white. Everything yeah, is pure white. white. His eyes, pure his nose. And anyway. that's insane. Anyway. <laughs> Whoosh! All right, Jet's out of the picture. He had to dip for something, but that's okay. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, some cool explosions and stuff. Yeah. Explosions. Explosions. Well, explosions. Implosions. All right. Um, let's continue because I think that we could serve a lot to this conversation. Just the two of us mm-hmm. experiencing yeah. some of the because we've been in scouts a longer number of years than most people that probably because when you're in a scouts for a long time you generally don't talk about it i don't know yeah what yeah whatever but um moving on from horsemanship are there any fun merit badges where you've had some either really interesting stories or really cool parts of the merit badge that you really enjoyed good one I don't know, like, I've done a lot of, like, talk merit badges, and they have been super great. I mean, fingerprinting was interesting. Fingerprinting was a 15-minute merit badge where the guy looked at me, he said, can you repeat to me the national anthem? Can you put your hand on this thing? And then you walk out that door. <laughs> okay, so finger- fingerprinting, I just liked learning about the different kinds of fingerprints, and that was it. I like taking my own fingerprints. That was interesting. And yeah, I figured out I have, re- I figured out I have really rare thumb fingerprints, which is cool. Cause you're uh, the alpha male. Mhm. Yeah. You know. You know. Uh. Yeah. That was interesting. Uh, I did fa- fire safety, which is lecture one. Uh. Let me try to think. I mean, I don't know. I've done a lot of talk ones. Life saving was cool. Um, SpaceX was cool when you launched the rocket. SpaceX should be taken away now because it's kind of like it. That is a brand now, I guess technically, right? What SpaceX? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, what are other ones? I don't know. I haven't had too many. I uh, the I think the favorite ones for me was life saving and horsemanship. Those were my those were those were my two greats. Uh, there's been some really cool merit badges that I've done actually. That I feel that some of them are very underrated, almost. Mm-hmm. Um, starting off first would be climbing. Chug, 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 lads, 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 lads. lads. <laughs> It's gone. No, uh, climbing. At PSR, they have... PSR has, uh, cash, bro. They have peas, dog. They have cash. Um, (laughs) so their Mm -hmm. climbing tower is, like, all cement. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And I just felt like climbing gets a bad rep because everybody's scared to go up it. But like when you're actually doing it, it's much more fun, and then it pr- and then it makes your mind think, "Hey, I want to go out and climb mountains and stuff," which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And then another merit badge would be wilderness survival. Hands down, one of my top favorite merit badges, mostly it because of survival. the of the last requirement, which is spend a night with just something in your backpack. I feel like backpacking truly embodies what Scouts is to the point of where surviving on your own and finding stuff 
and I feel like that's really cool. And surviving, trying to find rocks and all that, it was fun because we had a group of people and we walked like five miles into a forest and then set up camp on top of a hill because it was supposed to rain. So we were like, all right. And we were racing each other down to grab rocks because you think a forest with hills, it's got to have rocks. No, there was like 10 rocks on the whole thing. Okay, we had, now. We had to make a fire pit with the rocks. It was, it was pretty fun. Okay, now here's a real question. I haven't really done Wilderness Survival. I just haven't gotten it, gotten to it yet, I guess. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Do you believe that if you're in like, do you know the game like The Forest or something yeah, like I, that? Yeah, I know the I know the I know the game The Forest. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand that. If you were put in that situation, do you think you could survive? Um that's the real Wilderness Survival question. Alone, probably not, because I'd go mentally insane after a while. Yeah. With How one about, other, like, with one other you, person, you, yes. Yeah, you plus one. That's yes. I I think we can, as a team. I think that we could definitely. Because I don't know, it matters on where you land, be, and if you can identify like any um, edible like herbs or plants or stuff like that. Because, like, so for Boy Scouts, even if you just do no merit badges at all, you could get, like, some sort of idea of how to survive in that situation. Like, I could build a small little, like, lean-to like, pretty just, easily. I was just about to say, with the scouting requirements and ranks and just stuff you pick mm -hmm. up by being on campouts, Scouts prepares you to build weapons. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. They prepare you to build pointy sticks when you're uh, whittling. They, uh, for spears, lashings to tie, like, a pronged throwing spear. Yeah. Cook it. Yes. Everything in Scouts is helpful in its own right. Yeah, like, so you, like, you see all those, like, axes. Like, Tommy can put an image of, like, one of those, like, Ooh. gaming, like, axes, like, survival. Kind of like those survival game axes. Mm -hmm. and, like, how they have, like, the stick that they, that you, like tear a chunk out of and put a sharpened rock in there and then you do lashings to yeah, keep those, it in the those stick cross lashings those are very yeah, easy to learn mm -hmm. and um all that you can learn in boy scouts like you learn it as you good experience even if you don't have any, get any merit badges you still learn that just by hanging out with other scouts yeah 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 uh, so like it's really we're Sorry. a brothership, is what yeah. we are. We work together. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Brotherhood and sisterhood, Tommy. Whoa. Uh... We got girls in here now. Tommy. Whoa. I'm sorry. If anybody's offended by that, just leave a like on the video if you're offended by that. Like, that's dope. <laughs> Don't advertise offending, offending people. I'm sorry. All right, our troop, I, I get national allows girls, and I think that's great. I think progress is great. Our troop doesn't, has elected to not allow girls to join. So when I think of Boy Scouts, I'm thinking of our troop, and our troop is mostly men. So when I say brothership, I mean all of us that have spent the last four or five years of our lives together, <laughs> basically every other or every Tuesday or Thursday for campouts, everything. Mm -hmm. And even doing this, where I get to talk to my best friends online every day, yeah. even when I can't see them. It's great. Uh, we yeah. also just had our first outdoor meeting. Insert clip now. Oh. And yeah, that was really cool. We got to meet each other for the first time. Mm-hmm. And in person we got a lot of I got stuff to, done i got to see tommy's short hair tommy got to see my style and beard yeah uh a lot of things have happened and it's great to be together uh, that's a little wholesome yeah. moment for y'all if you've watched if yeah. you watched this far that's a that's a wholesome moment right there yeah because in boy scouts when i first joined because when i first joined my mom just wanted me to get more friends because i it was the start of uh, it was the summer before high school, 
and like in eighth grade and stuff like that. Well, yeah, eighth grade. I joined eighth grade or it was the summer grade. before eighth grade. Yeah, summer before eighth grade or seventh grade. I don't really know. I think it's eighth grade. Yeah, I want to say eighth grade because yeah. we. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, when I went in there, I think a lot of people. A lot of people didn't know. When my first camp out was summer camp. So he got and, thrown straight into the deep end with yeah. a week long camp with nobody who knew at all. Yeah. And that that supplied me to allow me a week to get to know everyone's everyone's personality and after that I uh I more got into talking with Tommy and Jet. And a- after a long period of time, because I've been in Boy Scouts for like Three years, I want to say three two. to four years now. Yeah. And over that amount of time, you just, like, you get a bond with everyone in the troop. Yeah. And that bond is going to last forever. Some more than most, but it's it's a really good feeling to have those close friends. Yeah. I'm, I'm sad now. You're I'm sad now? I'm sad now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause you're not wrong, yeah. Honestly, y'all are y'all are literally my brothers that I've never that I've never had. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Boy Scouts is literally you have friends and you will live and die for them, no matter who they are, no matter what they do to you. Cause we all love each other very much, <laughs> but on some no. days well, well, when well, people I mean, on some days no, no, when no, people no, can't get to a recording. I don't love them very much. <laughs> Jet. Okay, yeah, and it's going to be great because what's also going to be awesome is that me, Tommy, and Jet are all going to go to something called the Jamboree Woo! this year. No, next, next year. Right? Next year? Next year. 2021 National Jamboree picture. Boom. Mm-hmm. And so if people don't know, Jamboree is just this humongous event where boy scouts gather not really to do merit badges but just to do events and activities and just to have to fun tra- with to, the main thing is yes to have fun tr- and trade patches is kind of what we're overall because yeah. we're going to national so that means u.s obviously but sure. they have world jamboree which jet will probably someday talk about hours on because he loves bringing yeah. up that he went to world jamboree Mm-hmm. Where every yeah. scout from, where scout troops from like Switzerland, Sweden, Europe, uh, England, stuff like that come together mm-hmm. in one spot, and it's super cool, and yeah. I can't wait to go. Uh, just gonna, we're gonna have a lot of fun, and we're gonna be with each other for two weeks. So yeah, it's I haven't gotten enough fun. of them now. I will get so much of them later. Yeah, you're gonna be full filled up of us, Tommy. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh, yikes. But anyway. <laughs> uh so Tommy, is there any more stories you would like to share? Because I think I'm pretty good. Yeah. Uh we we wanted want you guys to take away from this is merit badges are fun. There's a lot of them. Mm-hmm. There's basically a merit badge for anything you can think of. Uh you just have to look for it. So if you're feeling bored in Scouts and you're feeling like Scouts, oh dude, it's not the one for me. There's not enough stuff that I like. Yes, there is. There's a uh, whole different science stuff like Jack was talking about. There's uh, outdoor stuff. No matter what you like, Scouts has got it. You just got to go looking for it. Because, like, and there's even, like, stranger ones. Like, if you like working out, we got personal fitness. If you like chemistry, we have a chemistry merit badge. If you like architecture, we have landscape architecture. If you like flying, we have aviation. We if got you like shooting, we have the shooting merit badges. Yeah, we have sports merit badges. We have bird study. Out- yeah, we have um, like working merit badges. We have woodworking, leatherworking, metalwork, which is like places where you can just like make cool stuff out of metal, leather, which is awesome. Welding. Oh yeah, I have a cool. I have a funny story about uh, uh, a welding. It wasn't my. It's not about me. But mm-hmm. when we went to Makajuan, uh our troop is assigned to camp, obviously, but we get to decide where we want to stay in that sector of the camp. Oh, I remember. And I, I think that's what you're talking about. They 
And the older scouts, obviously, they had first dibs, and they were like, oh, yeah, we don't want up here, actually. And we're like, we'll take it. Because we're it's like up on a hill, and it was super cool. I don't know why they didn't take it. But mm -hmm. that's, yeah. not, that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is there's no tree cover. And one day, one of our scouts in our patrol came back with his fully welded toolbox. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. set it on the picnic table. It was looking brand new. And it rained for two days straight, and it was rusted because he didn't move it at all. Yeah, it was just and, destroyed. Yeah, that was that was very funny. I remember that. Okay, so is there any more? Is there any more? I don't you got anything. About? Okay, well, uh, for those out there, uh, please like and subscribe our videos. If you want us to talk about anything or if you want to ask us a question please say it in the comments Make sure you ring that bell and we have um, different kinds of social networks that we have that you can reach out to us on like Twitter discord uh, Instagram TikTok, even bro um, mm -hmm. most of them are linked to our channel so if you go back to our channel page they'll be in the link in the banner I did a few stuff with that um yeah yeah and the best way you can support us is just watch the whole video like all the way yeah. through that's the best way to support us right now mm -hmm. and so see you guys next time and see ya Light here in the silence of the night, we'll chant a song as we wait the morning's light here in the silence of the night, we'll 
jump to sun as we wait the morning's light here in our side.